this lecture we are going to discuss about the classification of chopper or DC DC converter depending upon the quadrant of operation quadrant of operation of the circuit depending upon the quadrant of operation of chopper circuit the chopper circuits are classified into type A chopper or class A chopper type B chopper or class B chopper type C chopper or class C chopper type D chopper or class D chopper and type E chopper or class E chopper if a chopper circuit provides first quadrant of operation that is both the output voltage and currents are positive that type of chopper is known as type A chopper or class A chopper if a chopper circuit provides second quadrant operation that is Output voltage is positive, but output voltage output current is negative. That type of chopper operation is known as class B chopper or type B chopper. If the chopper provides first and fourth, first and first and second quadrant, if the chopper circuit provides first and second quadrant operation, that type of chopper is known as class C chopper or type C chopper. If a chopper circuit provides first and fourth quadrant operation that type of chopper circuit is class D chopper or type D chopper if a chopper circuit provides all the four, four quadrant of operation that type of chopper is known as class E chopper or type E chopper this is the classification of chopper based on the quadrant of operation first we will discuss about the type A chopper or first quadrant chopper first quadrant chopper provides first quadrant operation that is both the voltage output voltage and output currents are positive this is the first quadrant chopper is a step down chopper first quadrant chopper is a step down chopper the chopper consists of a chopper circuit consists of a switch AS and a freewheeling diode FT and the load circuit when the switch is closed when the switch is closed then output voltage v naught is equal to source voltage vs when switch is open then the energy stored in the load free wheels through the freewheeling diode fd and the output voltage is equal to zero then in, in this type of chopper class a chopper the output voltage v naught is always less than source voltage Vs and the output voltage average value of the output voltage V0 is equal to source voltage into duty ratio where duty ratio alpha is equal to T on divided by total time period T on plus T off that is the first quadrant operation of a first quadrant chopper or type A chopper or it is also known as class A chopper it is a step down chopper first quadrant chopper is a step down chopper it provides both positive and positive voltage and positive current Next is the second quadrant chopper. The second quadrant chopper is a step up chopper. Second quadrant chopper or type B chopper or class B chopper. It is a step up chopper. A second quadrant chopper provides second quadrant operation that is output voltage is positive but output current is negative. Output current is negative. It provides second quadrant of operation. Then Power circuit for the second quadrant chopper is shown in figure. The load circuit must contain a battery source or DC source E. The load circuit must contain a battery source or DC source E. Then switch when chopper switch CH is on, output voltage is equal to when CH is on, output voltage is equal to zero, but load voltage E drives the current through the inductor L and the switch CH then the inductor L stores energy during the turn on time when the switch is off the output voltage is equal to when the switch is off the output voltage is equal to E plus L into dI by dt which exceeds the 
source voltage Vs. As a result, the D2 diode D2 will become four rate biased and it starts conduction. Thus, the power flows from load to source. Since V0 is always positive and I notice negative power flow is always from the load to source. As load voltage V0 is equal to E plus L into DI by DT, it is always greater than source voltage Vs. So this type B chopper or class B chopper is also called known as step up chopper. This is the current waveform and output voltage waveform of a type B chopper or second quadrant chopper. Second quadrant chopper, the voltage is, voltage is always positive, current is negative. Then switch, chopper switch, CH is on, the current starts to increase from a minimum to maximum value and switch is open. Current starts flow from low to source and it decays from maximum to minimum. Next is the operation of two quadrant chopper. The two quadrant chopper, two quadrant choppers are of two type type C chopper and type D chopper. Type C chopper provides first and second quadrant operation and type D chopper provides first and fourth quadrant operation. First we will discuss about the operation of a type C chopper. Type C chopper is a two quadrant chopper. It provides first and second quadrant operation. The type C chopper is a combination of type A and type B chopper. A two quadrant chopper or type C chopper is obtained by connecting type A chopper and type B chopper in parallel. The output voltage V0 is always positive because the presence of this freewheeling diode. But the current may be positive or negative. Let us discuss the operation of the two quadrant chopper or type C chopper. In order to obtain first quadrant operation, switch CH1 and diode D2 operates. In order to obtain second quadrant operation, switch 2, CH2 and D1 conducts. First we will assume that the CH1 is on. First we assume CH1 is on and CH2 is in off condition. When CH1 on, current flows through CH1 through inductor and through the DC source and back to supply Vs. Therefore, the output voltage is therefore the output voltage is positive. When CH1 on, output voltage is positive and output current is also positive. Output current is also positive. Now we will turn on CH. Now we will turn off the switch CH1. When CH1 goes to its off state, the polarity of the inductor reverses. That is here it is minus and here it is plus. Therefore, the diode D2 will become forward biased and energy stored in the inductor free wheels through the diode D2. Energy stored in the inductor carry free wheels through the diode D2. That means the current starts to decay from a maximum to minimum value. When the current is equal to zero, when current, when current is equal to zero, we are going to turn on, we are going to turn on the switch CH2. At current zero instead, we are giving, we are turning on the switch CH2. When CH2 turns on, again the polarity will become here it is positive, here it is negative. Then the direction of current reverses. The direction of current reverses and the vacuum of aids the flow of current in the reverse direction.
and switch to on the backcam of DC source backcam of E aids the flow of current in the reverse direction so current starts to increase from zero to negative direction when C is to resonance on condition at that time the output voltage is equal to zero when CH2 is off when CH2 is off again the energy stored in the inductor and CH2 off C is to is of output voltage is equal to E plus L into dA by dt which is greater than source voltage. Therefore the diode D1 will become forward bias then this energy energy this energy flows from low to source through the diode D1. Then the cycle repeats. When switch CH1 is on, output voltage is equal to positive. Then we will turn off CH1. Then D2, the energy stored in the inductor travels through the diode D2. When the current through the diode D2 is then the load current is equal to zero. We are turning on the switch CH2 and CH2 ohms. The current flows in the reverse direction and the DC source E is the flow of current. Then at a particular instant we are turning off the switch CH2 at that instant the load voltage V0 is equal to E plus L into dA by dt which is greater than source voltage Vs then the diode D1 will become forward biased then the energy flows from load to source then the cycle repeats that is the operation of a type C chopper. Next we will discuss about the working of a type D chopper. The power circuit for a type D chopper is shown in figure it consists of two switches CH1, CH2 and two diode D1, D2. The output voltage V0 is equal to Vs. V0 is equal to Vs when both switches CH1 and CH2 are on. And output voltage is equal to minus Vs when both chop chopper switches CH1 and CH2 are off but both diodes D1, D2 conducts. Average output voltage V0 is positive when chopper turn on time is more than the turn off time as shown in this figure. The direction of load current is always positive because choppers and diodes can conduct current only in the direction of arrow shown in the figure. The form of source voltage IS and chopper current chopper current ICH1 and ICH2 are also shown in this figure. When CH1 and CH2 on the direction of current is through CH1 through load and CH2 and back to source that is the current direction of current is positive and voltage is also positive. When CH1 and CH2 off the output voltage is equal to minus Vs and the direction of current is also positive. By varying the turn on time we can vary the average output voltage. If turn on time is greater than turn off time the average output voltage is positive. If turn on time is less than turn off time the average output voltage is negative this is the working of type d chopper type d chopper provides first and fourth quadrant operation if ch1 and ch2 on we, we can obtain first quadrant operation if ch1 and ch2 off we can obtain fourth quadrant operation these are the class classification of chopper based on the quadrant of operation class a chopper first quadrant chopper class b chopper second quadrant chopper class c chopper gives first and second quadrant operation and class D chopper gives first and fourth quadrant operation. Okay.